Hello, my friends. How is everybody? I myself, I'm fantabulistic. Super excited to be here with you to do another project. Like I said, I'm trying to start out with a little bit of uh, connection time to say hello. Um, you know, I've, I've been self-conscious about being on camera. Um, you may notice I have uh, difficult in my face. Oh, it's this side. No, it is this side. That's from uh, my trigeminal neuralgia um, that has affected the nerve in my face. The way that I have found to help my pain that is caused by my trigeminal neuralgia, which is also known as the suicide disease. Google that, then you'll learn a little bit about what it is. Um, a lot of people take their lives because of it, because the pain is just unbearable, unimaginable. Think about what you use your face for, everything. And it's involuntary. There's not much you can do about it. So thankfully, I've been blessed with being able to get Botox. Yes, people do that for cosmetic reasons. I myself, I don't. I get it throughout my head for migraines and then in my face for trigeminal neuralgia. So I'm a little self-conscious about it. Um, my eye is not all the way open. And according to this eye, I have pretty big brown eyes. But I'm blessed to be here. I'm thankful that I have a way to have relief. And I recommend it to everyone that I can that suffers from trigeminal neuralgia as I do. Okay, done with that. That's why I normally don't come before the camera, but you know what? This is who I am. That's what it is. So, all right, guys, I am going to say hello. I'm looking forward to doing this project with you. I hope you're ready. It's going to be quite lengthy, so you may need to fast forward some. I will fast forward what I can, but I'm excited to do it. So, it is going to take a little bit of time, but I enjoy it. So, I'm not going to rush it. I want you to enjoy it as well, and you are welcome to fast forward anything that you need to. Okay, I'm gonna put you on hold and put you down so you can see what's happening. And my dog is hacking. Huh? I'll be back. All right, guys, let me explain. First, I have these two beautiful seashell, um, seashell molds. <laughs> That's what I got. I have these, and then I have this beautiful round tray. You've seen me do this before. What my plan is, is I'm gonna make these candle holders. Yeah, this way, right? Which way did I have that? Why did I not like that? Like that? Hmm. Huh. I don't remember. That's the way I want it. But I need it this way. So this is the way I want it. I am going to make a candle holder. So what I'm going to do is I am going to highlight this in... Y'all gotta give me a second to remember. This color. It's a chameleon powder from Tech Slicker and it is yellow, yellow orange. Okay. Then I'm gonna come in behind that with this one, the uh, gold pink from Let's Resin. Then I am going to do this chameleon powder. You have to do forgive me, I'm trying to go with this purple, red, and gold, and I am going to back, or do the rest of it in seashell. Now, the backing I'm going to do with these is going to be just clear, because I don't want, I mean, it's a seashell. I don't want black in there, and I don't know, I guess I could do white. Yeah, I guess I'll do white. So, or no, I'm going to do blue, ghost blue interference. How about that? Will that go? Sure. Sure it will. Because what I'm going to be doing, we got these. I'm sorry, y'all. I've been trying to gather my thoughts with this. And it's a little lengthy, so again, you can fast forward. My thoughts are, is I have these little things. I really don't know what they're for. If anybody wants to tell me, I thank you. I'm going to put one in here, and I'm going to put one in here. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, okay? 
So we will have one on this side, one on this side. Why do I have the shells facing each other? Glad you asked. I'm gonna be taking this resin tape. I'm gonna tape it down the best I can like this. And I'm gonna have resin coming off of it. That's my goal to try anyway. The point is, is I'm gonna make a waterfall that'll be flowing into our water, which will be our ocean. This is gonna be our ocean out here. I'm gonna put sand here, obviously the water, and I'm gonna have the white with the waves. So I'm using Let's Resin Ocean White for that. For the, the beach, the ocean, I mean the ocean, I'm gonna be using, I think, uh, hey, this is my girl Kaz. I'm going to be using your color, I think. I'm going to try. Um, this is Kaz, also known as Amadori from Eye Candy. And then this one is Magic Ocean from Color Passion. That's my thought. But I also have Baja Blue and Sapphire Blue, both from Pinata. And then I have these cool metallic ones. They are from GRDZ Plus, and it is the color... Oh Lord, metallic cerulean, metallic blue, and metallic sky blue. So I might use those. I got these colors over here because I have these little, they're what we normally use in the succulent. Well, I'm just gonna kind of use them in these beachy colors in case I need them, because I wanna put seashells around here that's going to be before the waterfall to make this, you know, look oceany, beachy. So I'm going to put that in there. Now, that being said, I have a ton of seashells over here. I have driftwood. I have white shells. I have white rocks. I got blingy rocks. I got some blue crushed mirror. I had this. I really have wanted to use it several times, except the blue has just not been what I wanted. Then I got big seashells over here. I got my sand. Then these. What am I going to do with pipettes? I was thinking, because I want the shells to be the separate levels. So, I'm going to pour resin. I'm going to cut this end off. And then I'm going to pour resin in here and let that harden. And then that'll be like little sticks that I can put, perfect one, right there. Put these around it so they are like, like a flower sticking up, right? So it's just going to kind of give it some height. I don't know, something fun, something different. I'm going to try it. So pipettes, fill that up. Um, I might do it with sand. I might just do it with blue. I don't know. We'll see. This is kind of a, a we'll see project. I have everything out that I could possibly think I want. I have ghost blue out. I have this pretty um, glitter from Into Resin. It's I can dust it on and it'll stay. Um, then I got this. This is the diamond white glitter mica powder. Then I have Laura's Art Corner Mirror Mirror. How can you not have that in some blingy water? That's my thought. Okay, I've already poured the resin or mixed the resin up, so that's good to go. I'm looking at it and I'm thinking I have way too much. So, once we get started on this, then I may have to put you on hold so I can find something to pour this in real quick. I don't have any idea what to pour it in. Hmm. I'll have to do something real quick. So, right now I am going to get going. I'm going to pour this resin into different cups so it is not so full because when it's in a full container the deeper it is the quicker it'll cure I'm using let's resin one-to-one -one epoxy resin casting resin it's hot quick I want it to be quick you know, my brain is like, I'm not sure of what I want to do. 
Oh my goodness, I've got a lot of resin. What in the world was I thinking? I'm gonna put y'all on hold real quick. I gotta figure out something to do with this before I lose it all. All right, I'll be right back. Hey guys, I've done quite a bit since we've been gone because I was worried about the resin, but I'll tell you what I did. I went ahead and dusted the inside of this. <laughs> I don't know what color it's over there. I'll figure that out. I'll put it at the end. Um, doesn't look like I've put quite enough in there. Hmm. Right. Let me get back to that. Now I'm going to fill this one up. I put seashell from Let's Resin and some white from white satin from Lores. And I thought this one I have dusted inside just barely. Uh, I don't know what color. I'll have to look at that one too. Look, I was worried about having too much resin. I don't have enough. So, when I leave you, I will just have to mix some more. Yes, I will. Because I really thought I was going to have enough. thought I was going to have too much. These are my first time with these molds, so... I was trying to do a good guesstimate, an educated guess. I guess my education wasn't very good. I'm just kidding. Okay, now, I went around with the um, nine simple glitter from Into Resin. It's a blue color. Again, I'll link it. I just gotta hurry, y'all. I'm sorry. My hands are sticky. I don't know where my alcohol went. Where is it? There it is. I sip my drink. I am sorry to be Russian, but Russian, German, Italian, American, we're all good. All right, I need to put the little thingamajabber in there. What do I do with it? There it is. Well, it looks like I will have enough. Because I just filled it. Okay, so we got our candle holders in there. That's good. Now I've got the sand. I mixed up in resin. Put that down here. Now, I didn't go over here with the blue glitter. I only wanted that in the water. I'm gonna have to fill these cactuses, I guess, with uh, or these succulents with um, UV resin. Man, I really did think I had too much, but nope. And put that up there. Looking good for a beach. And I was going to put some shells down in here. Looks like I'm going to have to do that with the UV resin. Not unless I have a chance to get to it before this cures up on me. It doesn't feel as hot as I thought it was going to, but you know how it is, man. It gets to that point and you got to roll. If you don't know how it is, believe me, when you feel that resin getting hot, you got to roll because you get ready to lose it. It's going to go stiff. Okay, that one's done. Oh, my back. All right, I have these two colors. Kaz's, I had to put some, um, what did I put in that? Seashell from Let's Resin. All right, here we go with the uh, ocean blue from Color Passion. That is a gorgeous blue. Wow. Y'all know what? I didn't leave any clear to do the wave. Oh, goodness. That's not very good. Hmm, I guess I'll just use the... Um, maybe I can scrape out enough to do it. I don't know. I could use the blue interference that I mixed up for the clear, I guess. be all right right yeah sure no worries this is from my imagination I'm 
All right, now we're going to do some blending so it's just not so. All right, let me see what we can do. I'm not very good with the beach ocean things and I really need to be living on the coast, you know? Just need to practice it more. Right, right. All right, that looks blended in well. Now, I have the white that I mixed up from Just Resin. No, uh, man, I haven't said that in a long time. Let's Resin. So I'm going to pour some of this in there to see if I can make a wave. Maybe, maybe not. Hey, turn your... Whatever you're watching me on down because I'm using the heat gun. You loosen it up a little bit. that is popping y'all something's popping though um let's see my ocean's going to look because it's going to end up getting more you know more dark <laughs> it's going to get darker I got all this resin though and I need to bring it up some so y'all can fast forward if you want <laughs> you have my permission with the white. I mean, is it... Uh, I gotta put this down somewhere. Okay. Very sticky. Very, very sticky. Bro, 
rolling. Maybe a little too fast, but we're getting it. Yes, sir, Ribbon. Look, I got more of this dark blue. I don't want to waste it. Can't be wasting resin. Okay, that's good. Now, can I get any clear out of anything? I don't think so. Mm -mm. That's not even clear. Okay, that's what I got. So that's what we got. I'm gonna wipe my hands off, they're very sticky. I will bl blend this the best that I can. We got our shells poured. And um, this is what we got. I see movement in my house. Lots of movement. Break the brush. Lordy. Loosen it up some. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. Definitely just need more practice. I don't know what that is. Popping. my friends I see some lacing going on that's a good thing that's a good thing what am I looking for this maybe this will bring some more up mm-hmm I'm good I need to do something with this spot right here Alright guys, Ooh, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. Let's see if I have enough white to put in these little succulents. I'll be alright, right? At least one or two of them. I don't want to use so much UV resin. Alright, I'll be back. Y'all don't need to sit here and watch me do the succulents. <laughs> I'll be back. Hey everybody, I'm back. It's actually the next day. Everything is nice and cured. Here's our two shells and here's our beautiful beach. I think it turned out pretty well. I don't have the waves, like the beautiful waves, but I got a wave or a, a, a way. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It, I, I got water there. That's, or what looks like water. All right, so I got like all kinds of stuff going on in front of me because I got like so all kinds of stuff going on in my head about what I want to do. First things first. If you notice, I didn't fill this up the rest of the way because there was just a little bit there. And I thought since I'm going to have water or shells coming out of it, I can just cover that piece up with something. You know, like I had something. Where was it? Oh, this shell. See how that'll fit right in there when I take it out? Perfect. Never to ever tell it. 
So let's go ahead and demold these without any further delay. But let me cover this up so I don't get loose resin all in it. Oops. I heard things like very much tight around me because I had to pull everything out. I didn't know what I wanted to use. Well, actually I wanted to use it all or I want to use it all. Cause it's also pretty. And it, this is just a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. 99% to help this bad boy just slide out. Look at that. Wow. How pretty. <gasps> Oops. I really should have it going out that way. How pretty is that? But see, I got the candle holder down here. I didn't think of that out very well, did I? Huh. I'm going to take the candle holder part. I'll take that out last. Hmm. I might be doing a little bit of reconstruction here. I know I'm going to have to fast forward y'all some and pause y'all some because, like I said, I'm not quite sure what I want to do. And I don't want to be loudly gagging around here with you guys waiting for me. Well, that snail doesn't stay up very good, does it? That the way he's not supposed to lay, huh? Wow. Come on, baby. Come on. Wow, these colors look fabulous. Look. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Look, there's our candle holder out. And there's our other candle holder out. So that left a thin layer of resin, so that'll be easy to get up there. Or um, put something there to block it. I just really wish I had done it the other way. But that looks pretty that way, doesn't it? All right, I think so. Guess what? It's going to work. I say so. Now, I need to take my deburring tool and go around this and get these sharp ugly edges off and this little thing is fabulous to do that it's called a deep burning tool and you gotta be careful not to break that piece that we want though and this just takes it right off handy dandy little tool for resin workers artists as an artist. Some people can do this with a razor knife. Not me. I like my fingers too well and I'm not well enough with knives. Alright. That looks pretty good. All right, so that looks good on that one. Let me shake this. Excuse me, one, one moment. All right, now let's see this one. Wow, that's really pretty that way. Oh gosh. There's just no way for that to look funny or not funny. What do y'all think about that? And the candle will be sideways. Look, where's it at? What did I do with the candle? There it is. Oh, guess what? I was going to say, I know that that candle fit in there. It's not fitting. Joy. Oh, my. Now what? Look, this in that one. Wow, I don't know what to do. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I love that this like that. That's really pretty.
but that would be cool, like pouring into that, wouldn't it? I just don't know of any way to do it. I'll be right back. Hey guys, I wanted to come from this way so y'all could see because it's probably gonna be hard from the other angle. Just excuse the mess. But look, I found this little rock. Let me show y'all. This is how it's gonna go. See how I got the tape? The waterfall run into this. I gotta glue it, it's kind of wobbly until then. I'm using this shell to cover up that little spot that I was worried about. I really went to town with the deburring tool to get this candle in there and it just goes in so that worked out and i got the shells shaped uh turned like this it was the best way i saw but check this out this was like a, a oyster shell i think so i painted it copper and then it fits right on there it's got that little cutout for the little shell to sit right in there oh hold on sorry there you go isn't that perfect? I was excited. I thought, wow. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to be above. You're going to be below. And we're going to get this party started. Hang on. Hey, everybody. I wanted to come back. I've been doing some work. This is, I wanted you to be down here to see it at this level before I start working on it. As you can see, I have the waterfall going down and around. I put crystals around to hold the uh, candle in there. Tea light candle. And as you can see, it comes down. I had this, I don't know if I said this before. This piece right here was an oyster shell. So I painted it um, mm, copper, I guess is that color, which really matched the shell really well. So, I got a little bit more work to do with these rocks. I have played with it, and I know what I'm doing. I just wanted you guys to see it from this side. I will do my best to show you the other side. All right, guys, hang tight. All right, my friends. I know this is a hard view for you guys. Um, what I'm doing is I have this cup of these stones and instead of using regular epoxy, I'm going to use UV resin. Just so it'll be done. Um, I'm excited. It looks really good. The first thing i got to do is glue this down. I'm just going to use the um, glue gun. I've used the glue gun a lot on this project just because I could. So, let's glue this down. And I got that big hole there from the candle I was going to put in. And it didn't quite go very well, did it? That's okay. We hit, we hit it. Uh, oh. That's strange. That's for sure. Alright, here we go. And I kind of got it cockeyed. I gotta stand up, make sure I got it on this side of good. Uh -huh. I want it to come this way a little bit. That's as far as I can get it. Is it still on here over here? Yeah. That's good. Let it dry and I'll show y'all. This is the other candle. I'm going to put that here so it'll be double layer or double candle. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, leave that there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm opening this to squirt in some UV resin. I will have to order some more UV resin soon. Just put it in there and mix it up. Just like it, you do with epoxy. Make sure you get it all stirred in. I'm holding it back so I don't drip it. Sorry. Y'all can see back here, sort of cancer. And you want to get all the way down in there in the cup. 
I want everything to be coated. All right, I think we got most of it. I feel a little few pieces down at the bottom, but hey, we'll slap some on there. And get all these little pieces. Oh man, that one looks like someone. Imagine that. I gotta show y'all another idea that I have going on too. I gotta clean this up real quick before it leaves marks. Give me just a minute. Let me clean it up. And then I'll show you what else I got stirring in my brain. Give me just a second. Oh, let me put the lid on this too before it falls over and I lose the rest of my UV resin. Let me wipe my hands and I need to put on some gloves. Forgive thy Sam I am for a moment. You could talk amongst yourselves for a moment. <laughs> okay. Now, there's one thing you guys might have noticed. The live edge is on the underside of this, but I'm okay with that. It kind of looks cool ridged in there. And remember, we got the blue glitter going around it. So if you see it from underneath, you'll see the bling bling of the glitter. All right. So let's get it started. Here we go. Oh, let me show you my other idea. This is the glue. The, um, you know, glue gun. So what I was kind of thinking is, break this off, it got a little big, but kind of put it down like this and have some of the, um, make this a little shorter, but have some of the water coming down like it's trickling out of the shell into the bottom. Don't you think that's cool? I need to cut this a little bit. Let's go right here. Right there. We will check out what this looks like. Not bad, not bad. That piece, and then I did another one. Wow, I really went big, didn't I? Okay. Cut this one off. And we'll put it down like this. What do you think? And it'll come down into a point. Is that what we need? You think? I don't know. Hmm. Could just glue a bunch of them together. Like, well, I could put them on this and glue it like that. I think this one's too thick. That's the problem. Let me cut, oh, I cut my finger, my glove. I just got them on. Alright, maybe that would be better. I just think it looks cool. Let me put the rest of them on. Y'all see what I'm talking about. Alright. First things first. I need to get under here. The water is crashing underneath the the cave or the tunnel. And I'll clean up once I get this down here. But I want to put that under there. Now, I put, oops, resin tape around this. So, hopefully, oh, it's sticking to my finger. This 
we'll make a little place for the candle. Looking good. See how those look good treacling out? Don't y'all think? I'm going to put some on the back. Sorry, I'm stretching in front of y'all. I don't have a choice. Okay. We got that running around the back. It looks fabulous, doesn't it? I think so. Let me see what this side looks like over here. I got hardly anything left. Oh, I got a little bit that fell over there. I just need to connect right here. How y'all look over there? Y'all can fast forward through this part if you want. I was going to do this by myself, but I've kind of looked at all this by myself. So, I missed you. <laughs> all right. And we got the candle in there. That should come out. <laughs> Let's hope. And we got this in there. We got to connect a little bit around here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you look like over here? Can I can I borrow some over here? Well, you know what? It can't really go around because. It's up against the edge. So this is good. This is fabulous. So let me get this up here. I need to wipe it down. And then I'll put you on fast forward while I'm drying it. Curing it, I should say. With the um, little light. My goodness. It just keeps sticking to my finger. Alright. So that looks good. I am going to put y'all on hold or fast forward while I do the um, curing of this. Then y'all can see this side. It's a surprise. I'm excited. I think it turned out very well. All right. Fast forward. Here you come. All right, my friends, everything is all resin down. Can you see everything? Do you like it? You see the candles in there? I'll turn it this way. And this way. So, guys, you like it? Did I do a good job? You want to give me a thumbs up? You want to give me two thumbs up? All right, you can only give me one to like me. 
but with your other thumb, you could subscribe or sign up for notifications, leave me a comment, any of the, or share my video. Sign up for notifications. Any of these things help support my channel. And I'm looking for as much support as I can get. My regular viewers, I appreciate you always being here for me, commenting, giving me likes, showing your support. I so, so much appreciate it. And I hope you know it. If not, trust me, I do. I really, really appreciate you and love each and every one of you. Okay, guys, this is the end of my video. I really enjoyed doing it with you. A uh, little bit of business. Down in the description, I have contests listed. I have affiliate links listed. And I also have my birthday club listed. So take a peek down in the description and get in on the action for the contest and the birthday club. And get your a coupon and affiliate link. Just go through me, use your coupon. It helps me, but more importantly, it helps you. All right, my friends. For now, I'm going to say I love you, mean it. Be good or good at it. See ya. Bye.